What's up guys, I'm Emily, welcome to my channel. Today we're gonna to be doing a 10 minute full body workout. If you are at home and quarantined like I am, then you're gonna to have to make do with what you have. So I'm gonna be using a one gallon water bottle filled with water. I know a lot of people don't have free weights at their home. And so if you don't have a one gallon water bottle, you can use heavy shampoo bottles or anything that you can find around the house that's easy to hold that can add a little bit of weight to your workout. That being said, you don't need to use weight for this workout. All of the exercises can be done without weight. The way that it's gonna be structured is 50 seconds on, 10 seconds off. So it's a really <laughs> quick moving, quick transition type of workout. So make sure that you can see your screen and that you have some space and a soft surface because we will also be on the ground for a little bit of it. That being said, I think that's it. So let's just get right into it. Okay, so our first exercise is gonna be a weighted jumping jack. So you're just gonna take your bottle and one in either hand and you're gonna push the bottle up as you spread your legs out to the sides. So here we go. Engage your core here. Keep your breathing steady. Okay, so coming, setting up for some squat curls and lifting my mat. Gotta work with what you got, right? So spread your feet a little further than hip distance apart. Toes out, heels in, squat down, curl. So squat curls, it's not a lot of weight, so you have to be intentional about it. Put your mind to the muscle, set your hips back, engage the glutes, feel the biceps working as you intentionally Curl that water bottle in towards your chest. With control. Last one. And we're coming down to the ground for some full sit-ups with a shoulder press. So plant your feet into the mat, bend your knees, lay back down onto your back. Water bottle will be staying tightly into your chest. Sit up, press the bottle up towards the sky. Slowly roll down. Feel each vertebrae rolling down onto the mat using a lot of control as you roll down. You're working your abs just as much as you roll down as when you sit up. Wait until you come all the way to the top of your seat before you press your bottle up. And we're staying on our back for the next exercise. which is glute bridges. So coming down onto your back. Make sure your ankles are right underneath your knees. Water bottle rests on your hips. Press your glutes or your hips up to the sky. Squeeze your glutes. Just a gentle tap of the hips. Press right back up. Hold two seconds, three seconds. Tap, squeeze the glutes as you lift.
Coming back up to stand for our next exercise. Quick transition, pop up. We're doing triceps and toe raises. So take a wide stance, spread your legs wide. Water bottle back behind your head, elbows squeeze in, triceps. Lift the water bottle up, lift up onto your toes, heels down, and drop the water back behind your head. Really squeeze those elbows in towards your ears. And be mindful that your shoulders aren't hunching up towards your ears. Keep the shoulders down. Feel the calves engage as you lift up onto your toes. Strong core to help you maintain your balance there. Really think a lot about those elbows. It's not a lot of weight. And when you do it correctly, you feel it. Good, so staying here, standing. We have standing crunches. So if you can come to hip width distance apart, water bottle up over your head, knees come into your chest. Alternating, engaging that core as you draw the water bottle down in towards your knees. Tuck your tailbone under as you bring each knee up. Last one. Good. So we're doing some single leg RDLs. If you're not comfortable with balance, you can absolutely just have one leg behind you. Hold your water bottle or if you don't have one. And then being mindful, we're hinging at the hips here. Keep your hips in a neutral position. And then it's a strong up. Tailbone stays tucked under. If you are comfortable with balance, I suggest starting with your knee up and keeping that neutral hip position as you come down. And again, strong as you stand up. It's like a burst. As you kick your leg back, make sure your toes are still pointing down towards the floor so your hip's not opening. Switching sides. If you're not comfortable with this exercise, I definitely recommend staying with the stabilization of having two feet on the ground. Think about pressing your hips back rather than folding forward. Keep a little bend in the standing leg so you're not locking that knee. standing for our next exercise. We're just gonna be right here with some reverse lunges. Starting with your feet hip distance apart, stepping back and then switching legs. Should be feeling it in your biceps a little bit here too. All of these have a subtle undertone of arm workout. Full body exercises.
We're coming down to the ground for our last exercise, which is a Russian twist. This can be done with your feet on the floor or your feet raised. And then as you twist, try to touch each end of the water bottle to the floor. Last 10 seconds, if your feet are on the floor, I encourage you to lift them up and burn it out. <sighs> That's it. Good job, guys. Thank you guys so much for working out with me today. If you liked this video, please give it a thumbs up. Make sure you subscribe and hit the notification bell so you can be updated every time I upload a new video. I hope you guys are enjoying your quarantine, being safe, being healthy, being smart. And I encourage you guys to please just use this time to do something productive that's going to help you grow. With that being said, I'll see you guys in the next video. God bless you.